Ellis Beef Easter's radio air check and classic TV channel. So much celeb gossip this morning for you. 22 minutes before 8 o'clock. Right here at 1548 a.m. Capital Gold, London. That's the time for Miss Grace. It's 20 minutes before 8 o'clock. Well, as I said, we've got loads of celebrity gossip for you this morning. And here's a story I absolutely adore. It's all about t uh, TV Superman. Greedy TV Superman star Dean Cain wants his pay doubled, saying, after all, I played two parts. <laughs> but the show bosses have turned him down flat. They pointed out that Clark Kent and Superman are actually one and the same person. Now, obviously, uh, Dean hadn't sort of caught on to that. Uh, so Kent will continue to receive the same pay as co-star Terry Hatcher, who plays Lois Lane. £50,000 an episode. That's not bad going, is it? I don't know how he scrapes no, by. It's, it's, it was worth a try, though. It was. A good try. <laughs> Rocker Rick Parthit was in a state of shock last night after being clobbered with a whopping £800,000 divorce bill. The status quo guitarist was ordered to cough up the cash following a bitter battle with second wife Patty, who's 46. 48-year-old Rick pleaded that he had little spare cash and couldn't afford a huge settlement. But the London Divorce Court ruled he must give Patty a lump sum of a quarter of a million pounds, plus 26 grand a year for five years. The rocker must also pay 7,000 pounds a year for the upkeep of their seven-year-old son, Harry, and he's been saddled with all the legal bills, which come to 400,000 pounds. Wish I'd married a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> a lot to be said for it, isn't it? Sexy Coronation Street star Tracy Shaw was let off a six-month driving ban yesterday so she can continue her long battle against against anorexia. Uh, Tracy, who plays hairdresser Maxine, told magistrates that the loss of her driving license for speeding would be a disastrous for the recovery from her slimmest disease. The 23-year-old actress lives with her parents who give her crucial support in her fight. She said the ban would mean her staying in hotels rather than making the long drive from their home to the studios. Tracy, wearing a smart dark suit, went into the witness box to tell how she had suffered from anorexia for a couple of years. She said a ban would disrupt her continued sessions. Hollywood heavyweight Sylvester Stallone is eating just two egg whites a day in his massive battle against the bulge. Stallone had to pile on almost three stone for his role as a flabby sheriff in the movie Copland. Sly cut on workouts and binged on fatty foods to get out of shape for the movie which co-stars Robert De Niro. Now he's gone on a crash diet and he confessed, I've lost 14 pounds in a week eating just the two egg whites a day. See, two egg whites? He doesn't have chips with them or anything? No, just two egg whites. Unbelievable. What wonder what he does with them. He cracks having... him into a pint of Guinness, I'd imagine. <laughs> But he looks forward to them, though. Mm, yeah. He must be blooming starving. Oh, just wait 12 hours and I can have another one. Another, another egg white. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two egg whites. That is a bit, uh, a bit drastic, isn't it? Here's Andrew Gold. Never let us slip away. We'll have uh, Caroline Faraday with the traffic in a month. To never let us slip away. 15, 48 a.m. Captain Gold. Andrew Gold. Never let us slip away. It's 40 minutes before 8 o'clock. Hey, how about this? A man was caught eating fireworks the other day. Luckily, the judge let him off. 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold. The Flying Eye with Callback. The messaging service from Cellnet Solutions. Never miss another call. I'll just give her time to recover from that last joke because she's obviously up there in the flying eye. Absolutely hysterical at this very moment. She should be all right now, though. Caroline Faraday. Good morning, Caroline. Oh, what an explosive gag, Tony. Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom. Hey, that was even better. We're just pegging it into town on the M1. It's a big queue from uh, about a mile before Junction 2, which you don't even need to tell you is close, going right into Staples Corner. Also, a bit further out, it's bad southbound 10 to 8. That's losing down to Hemel Hempstead. The M4 solid coming into town from around Heston, and also the Heathrow Spur Road bound southbound. The M25 looking sluggish clockwise 7 to 8. That's the M23 round to Rye. 23 to 24 South Mims to Pottersport and counterclockwise 20 to 17 Kings Langley round to Maple Cross. In Wandsworth there are delays around York Road. It was closed earlier on. Back open now but still a few delays there. Kenton Lane in Harrow that's caused the problems. There's an accident at Gordon Avenue there. The A1 absolutely chock-a-block from well before Sterling Corner all the way down to Apex at the moment. Lights are packed up on 
Thurlow Park Road at Rosendale Road in Dulwich. They're also out on London Bridge at Duke Street Hill. Watch out for roadworks on Acton High Street at Gunnersbury Lane. Limehouse Link about half full and the Blackwell Tunnel queuing into town for about a mile. The Flying Eye with Telnet, the big network. It's 7.46. The Northern Line is up and running again between Morden and Kennington after earlier emergency repairs. All other tubes and trains are on time. 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold. Tell me something, you're driving to work at the moment. Are you an executive? Uh, you can tell if you're an executive because you worked it out that you're just five hours to go, then you'll do lunch. Uh, well, if you are an executive, uh, it, uh, how executives in Japan and Britain are beating stress? We'll tell you in a moment. Final furlong now, coming up to the last jump. Express is in the lead. And, oh, Express is down. And that's a right cross, followed up by an uppercut. Oh, my goodness, Express is down. Now they're on the 20-yard line. The 15, the 10. Yes, it's there. First down to the Express. From Monday to Friday this week, the new Express is down to just 10p in the London area. Plus, you get the Sport, Britain's only seven-day-a-week sports paper, free with the new Express. The new Express for 10p plus the Sport free? Game on! I found out this morning that my husband's taking me on a surprise trip to Costa Rica, which gave me precisely three hours to get a whole new wardrobe. The Galleria Outlet Centre at Hatfield saved my life. Open seven days a week with free parking. Those factory outlets and off-price stores, well, everything was there. Swimwear, towels, shoes, bags, accessories, half a dozen evening dresses, all at huge savings. I even bought everything I needed for the kids' outward bound holiday in Wales. Poor darlings. Visit the Galleria Outlet Centre of the A1M Hatfield for factory outlet shopping at amazing prices. Factory prices galore when you walk through our door here at the Galleria. Now, the all-time greats sound even better with Tony Blackburn, 1548 AM. Hey, do you know, partners, it takes uh, five country and western singers to change a light bulb, one to change it, and the other four to sing about how good the old one was. Ten minutes before eight o'clock. <laughs> Number 963. Oh, what a night. That is the sound of the Four Seasons. Don't forget, of course, we've got Mike Osmond those Naughty Boys at 10 o'clock and Eamon Kelly at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Stressed workers are paying £60 to smash up a room filled with old furniture. The Temples of Destruction are the latest Japanese fad which allows staff to let off steam. After taking out their anger, they're given a beer and a snack. Regular user Morio Koyoki from Tokyo said, The sound of things breaking and smashing makes me forget everything. It really is a refreshing refreshing experience. While here in Britain, jaded executives... Are they jaded executives? Of course they are. Good Lord. Are being offered a stylish way to help them relax. Pig driving. Uh, the aim is to persuade a 250-pound pig to complete a simple obstacle course of cones and gates. This is what they get up to when we're working, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Aids include a, a board, a light stick, and a handful of pig feed. Patience and a pair of wellies are a necessity, and Pig driving is the idea of Chris Tuffrey, owner of Fry's Porkers, Ruby, Oprah, Winfred, Vanessa, and also Esther. Now, Chris, who's 47 years old, keeps them near his home in Sibford Gower, near uh, Banbury in Oxfordshire, and charges firms, listen to this, 300 quid a day of stress relief porky pleasure. Good for him. Uh, good for him indeed. He's obviously found a way of conning firms out of a fortune. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> Vera Lynn gargling. Four minutes before 8 o'clock at 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold. Thank you, to Andrew, with the news and the oddballs. Here's Tina Turner. Simply the best. That's uh, Tina Turner. We'll update you on uh, last night's East Enders in the next hour. And also a reminder, in an hour's time, of course, we've got all those dance classics in the Tony Blackburn Golden Hour. All that to come. Express has a difficult putt uphill here. The ball's curving towards the hole. I think it's there. Yes, it's down. See, now Express has come into the pit. They're checking the tyres. Well, they definitely look down to me. Yeah, something's happened off the ball. I don't think the referee saw that, but Express is down. From Monday to Friday this week, the new Express is down to just 10p in the London area. Plus, you get the Sport, Britain's only seven-day-a-week sports paper, free with the new Express. The new Express for 10p plus the Sport free? Game on. The 
the audience is rocking and the cameras are rolling at Walt Disney's World on Ice. Yes, it's all lights, cameras and action when the Disney gang take you on the movie adventure of a lifetime. But watch out, or you might end up on the big screen when you visit Hooray for Hollywood at Wembley Arena from October 15th to 27th. Call 0181 900 1234 to book your tickets for this spectacular family show. And please remember that telephone bookings are subject to a booking fee. Walt Disney's World on Ice is proud to be sponsored by Safeways. The dictionary's definition of the word open covers a whole page. Open means not closed or locked, accessible, open-minded, unprejudiced. All words we at KPMG could use to describe our open book policy. You may have seen our posters. They're self-explanatory. At KPMG, we have nothing to hide. Our relationships are open. No doors are closed. We're open for your business as advisors. To hear more, call 0500 555 899 or visit our website. Our lines are open too. This is 1548 AM, Capital Gold, London. Capital Gold at 8. Good morning, I'm Andrew Turner. Protesters in Wandsworth are about to be evicted from derelict land owned by Guinness. They've already chained themselves to railings on the site where the brewing giant plans to build a supermarket. The Queen of Pops become a mum. Madonna's given birth to a baby girl. She's been named Lourdes Maria. A double child murderer is on the loose and people haven't been told. Three weeks ago, child killer David Burgess walked out of Leigh Hill Open Prison and police failed to inform the public. Paula Yates has reportedly been arrested and questioned by detectives over an alleged drugs find at her Chelsea home. It's understood she walked into her local police station voluntarily. The government's publishing its proposals for primary health care later. The white paper will deal with the way the NHS is delivered to patients. Devon police say they're growing increasingly concerned for the safety of a schoolgirl. Ten-year-old Anne-Marie Radbourne was last seen with a man on Sunday. The weather and fun with Andrew's oddballs after this, it's 8.01. One man has redefined the art of Irish dance. Michael Flatley. The Sunday Times called him genius on taps. The critics describe his new show, Lord of the Dance, as breathtaking, stunning, exhilarating. Energy, excitement, passion, power. Lord of the Dance, a unique and spectacular theatrical experience. Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. Now an incredible video for you to treasure. Lord of the Dance, the video, out on Monday. The weather bright with showers later and highs of 16 centigrade, 61 Fahrenheit. Andrews Oddball. A 47-year-old woman has been freed from a bomb shelter in North Dakota after spending 18 years in it. Jealous husband Richard Tasker kept his wife Janet in the shelter after convincing her that a nuclear war was raging outside. She was found when he died. 1548 AM, Capital Gold. <laughs> With more classic golden hits, the all singing, all dancing, 15:48 a.m. Capital Gold Breakfast Show. Tony Blackburn and Andrew Turner. 15:48. The talk of the Papa Doodle Doo world. Yes, indeed. Uh, Madonna had a daughter last night, Lourdes Maria. Here she is right now, and la, sla, bonita. Congratulations to Madonna. Hang on, Sloopy. McCoy. Ten minutes past eight o'clock. Don't forget, Mike Osmond and those naughty boys will be with you. They'll be with you just after 10 o'clock. Mike Osman, actually, I, I don't like to be rude about him or anything, but he's the only person I know who went to see the film The Elephant Man then spent two hours afterwards signing autographs. Here's Steelers Wheels, stuck in the middle. Right here at 15.40 a.m. Capital Gold. Steelers Wheels, stuck in the middle. Drive time with uh, David Andrews at 4 o'clock and uh, 70s Classics at 4 as well. Sports time with Jonathan Pierce at 7 o'clock and Caesar the Giza with the Empire of Fun. Uh, he'll be at uh, 10 o'clock. I don't know if he's got the Beatles tonight. I no, he hasn't. Three hours of uh, great music and, of course, a controversial chat as well. Until 1 o'clock, then it's the captain, Andy Wint. Drunken reveller Andre Thibault, aged 33, was fined for dropping his pants on a crowded commuter train in Paris. He was caught after a woman witness described the Mickey Mouse tattoo on his bum. <laughs> and, uh, another drunk here, boozy farmer Grant Chaletti, spent 72 hours stuck in a hole after he went to sleep in a ditch full of wet cement in Tamaru, uh, which is very near New Zealand. Well, it's actually in New Zealand, actually. <laughs> it's actually in New Zealand. Farman had to use pneumatic drills to get 
get him out. <laughs> Have you ever been in a state like that at all? Certainly not. not. Certainly not. Never. Either. And if you say otherwise, I will sue. You've been drunk. No. Come on. You've been stuck in a hole full of cement. I'm <laughs> sure you have. And dug out with pneumatic drills. I think not. <laughs> I love this lady. She's wonderful. This song is just great. You're going to love it. Anita Baker, sweet love. Good morning. It's now 14 minutes past 8 o'clock. Anita Baker, sweet love. 17 minutes past 8 o'clock on this fabulous radio station of ours, 15.40 a.m. Captain Gold. We've got that unique mix of music that nobody else plays you. You've been along that FM dial lately? Everybody say, playing the same music. 28,000 records in a row, then a time check. Not here. This is the station that's brought personality back to radio. It's 15.48 a.m. Van Morrison, Brown Eyed Show. It's now 20 minutes past 8 o'clock. Hey, we'll update you on last night's uh, East Enders in a moment, but right now... 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold. The Flying Eye with Callback. The messaging service from Cellnet Solutions. Never miss another call. Let's go over to Caroline Faraday. Oh, the Black Hole Tunnel, Tony. Absolute nightmare this morning. It's queuing from about the Eltham Tunnel at the moment going northbound. Really, really jam-packed. Also, Shooters Hill Road being affected by that going through Black Heath. Really, really nasty there. The Limehouse Link, about half full at the moment. Got some lights which are packed up on Thurlow Park Road at Rosendale Road down in Dulwich. Also out on London Bridge at Duke Street Hill. The M25 looking sluggish clockwise, 7 to 8. That's the M23 to Rygate. 23 to 26, South Mims to Walsham Abbey. And 9 to 13, Leatherhead to Staines. Counterclockwise, your jams are 21 to 16, the M1 to the M40. And 30 to 29, the A13 going round to the A127. The M4 solid coming into town from Heston. Also the Heathrow Spur Road bad southbound. The M1 building up southbound 10 to 8, Luton to Hemel. And solid for about a mile before Junction 2, which is a shut, as you know, going into Staples Corner. Wandsworth Long Way System, extra bad this morning. Also, they've closed York Road eastbound there. Kenton Lane in Harrow has some problems because of an accident at Gordon Avenue, so that's slowing you down. The A1, chock-a-block from before Sterling Corner, going all the way up to Apex. The North Circular jam-packed going through Edmonton, and of course, the usual queues westbound into Hangar Lane as well. The A404 M looking slow just near the M4. The M11 rather heavy going past Charlie Brown's roundabout as you come into town. Shenfield Bypass, that's busy southbound. The M3 bad 3 to 2 eastbound, that's light water going up towards the M25. And the A40 stuff from North Holt going up towards Savoy Circus. The Flying Eye with Telnet, the big network. It's 8.24. There are still slight delays on the Northern Line after the earlier problems. All other tubes and trains are on time. 15.48 a.m. Capital Gold. Are we going to tell everybody no. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. That wasn't really Caroline Faraday. Russ King's sex change operation was a mega success. Reach for those <laughs> platforms and pull on the flares as 1548 AM Capital Gold brings you Rose Royce, Odyssey and Shalimar all on one bill as they bring their greatest hits tour to the Shepherd's Bush Empire. <laughs> Tuesday, the 12th of November, is the night to remember. And tickets are available now from the box office on 0181 740 7474 or the Capital Gold Ticket Hotline on 0171 420 1010. It's the greatest hits tour of Rolls Royce, Shalimar and Odyssey, only with 1548 AM Capital Gold. Final furlong now, coming out of the last jump. Express is in the lead. Oh, Express is down. Oh, that's a right cross, followed up by an uppercut. Oh, my goodness, Express is down. Now they're on the 20-yard line. The 15, the 10. Yes, it's there. First down to the Express. From Monday to Friday this week, the new Express is down to just 10p in the London area. Plus, you get the Sport, Britain's only seven-day-a-week sports paper, free with the new Express. The new Express for 10p plus the Sport free? Game on. B&Q Warehouse, Romford. I'm calling from the International French Kitchen Supplies. I wonder if you can help me. I'll certainly try, sir. I've got a customer with me who says that B&Q Warehouse has 24, 24 kitchens on display. It's not true, is it? 24, that's correct. Oh. Oh, she also says you do free computerized planning, and I mean free. Yes, absolutely free. Oh. Well, this is where she's definitely got it wrong. She says you have five different kitchens always in stock. <laughs> 